Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Championship Muscle. Today's topic of discussion, the neglected body part, the forearms. I'm gonna show you how to do the barbell basics to build them forearms right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Right now we are gonna start this workout with barbell basics. We are gonna do barbell wrist curls. This is a very crucial exercise. I don't muscle the weights. I use a weight that I can handle because I've said it in a bazillion of my videos, high reps or drop sets. I'm either a high rep guy or I'm a drop set guy. Today, we're gonna to be the high rep guy. I'm gonna grab this barbell. I'm gonna place it on my knees. I'm gonna take an underhand grip. My legs are in tight against the bench and I am going to do my wrist curls. I will do reps in excess of 25, 30, 40, 50, until I hit failure where my forearms are so friggin' pumped that I can't do any more reps. All I'm doing is rotating my wrists upward and I'm squeezing my forearms at the completion. Right here, I'm squeezing. Down is the stretch, up is the squeeze. and I will rep this out until I can't do any more. Like I said, it might be 25, 35, 45, 55. I'm more about the repetitions than the weight because I get the better burn with the higher reps and the lighter weights. Can I use heavier weight? Absolutely. I can probably do 30, 40s, maybe muscle out some 50s, but I'm not gonna get those reps. So I stick with the lighter weight, I go for the higher reps until I can't do them anymore. So now I'm going to take this over to another exercise and we are going to do reverse wrist curls. So follow me over to this exercise. Hey guys, we are now at the reverse wrist curls with the barbell. Okay. This exercise is very similar to what we just did, but instead of an underhand grip, it's an overhand grip. So watch how I do this. Bring my knees together. My wrists are hanging right over my kneecaps. I go for the stretch going down and my squeeze is going up. That's where my squeeze point is. Just like this, squeeze at the top. And again, I am a reps to failure guy. It could be 20, 30, 40 until I can't do anymore. That's when I stop. And then I'll rest up a minute and go back and do another set. Rest up a minute, go back and do another set. But it is reps to failure. And again, this is only 20 pounds. But when you're several hundred repetitions into this exercise, your forearms are freaking screaming. You're going to barely be able to hold on to the bar. You're going to get such a forearm pump. So I am concentrating. I've got the forearm muscles engaged. And I am feeling the burn across the top of my forearms like you wouldn't believe. Very effective forearm exercise. You don't ever want to neglect your forearms. You could have some awesome shoulders, awesome buys and tries. You come down to some pencil arm forearms, people are going to look at you like you're stupid. They're going to laugh at you because it's going to be so unbalanced. So I want you to follow me over to the next exercise because I'm getting to the point where I can't do any more on this. Oh, shit. That was tough. Whew. My forearms are freaking screaming, man. All right, we're gonna take it over to another exercise, so follow me over here. All right, guys. I'm sucking wind over here. My arms are on fucking fire. This is the final exercise, what I call my finisher, and it's gonna be wrist rolls. And I'm over here at the barbell rack, and I got several different bars with several different weights. Again, I'm not gonna grab the bar that's the heaviest because this isn't a movement of how much weight it's a movement of full rotation of the wrist. So watch how I do this. And again, I'm only using a 20 pound bar, but I wanna get full rotation of the wrist. I'm gonna do it going forward, and then I'm gonna do it in reverse order going backwards. So watch how I do this. I got a pretty much just a little inside of my shoulder grip. I am going to start rolling my wrist 
And as I'm rolling my wrist in, I'm squeezing this forearm, just like in the wrist curls, okay? So I'm going here and I'm rotating each wrist, squeezing just like this, squeezing each rep. It's not about how much weight I'm doing it with because it's more of a rotation exercise. Could I go heavier? Yeah, but my freaking forearms are on fire. So I'm gonna do as many repetitions as I can to keep that burn going. And when I get to that stopping point, I'm going to reverse the order. So now the squeeze is gonna be on the inside again, going in reverse order. Okay, and I'm gonna go as many repetitions as I can to keep the burn going. And if I still got gas in the tank, I'm gonna go the other way and rotate backwards, concentrating on the top of the forearm again. So this is exercising the top and the bottom of the forearm by forward motion and reversing it. And remember, you gotta squeeze every repetition, okay? so. I'm gonna conclude this video. Let me put this up here. <sighs> My arms are on fire. I got a book out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. I wrote it last year. It's been getting five-star reviews and it's been selling really well. Everyone I've spoke to that's reached out to me has loved the book. It's 40 years of my bodybuilding knowledge combined into a 28 to 30 page book, a little bit of my sarcasm, and it's a good read. So get yourself a copy on Amazon. I'd really appreciate it. I'm a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. You heard me mention it in many of my videos. It is by far the best protein supplement I have used in decades. It mixes well in any beverage. My favorite is iced coffee. No sugar, no carbs, no flavor. 54 calories a serving, 30 grams of protein. That is 99% absorption rate. I'm type two diabetic, I am off insulin, and this is not affecting my blood sugar. It's a win-win situation. Get yourself some, you won't regret it, and 15% discount if you use Coach P in the, in the uh, discount box. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Have a great day, peace out.